are my girls. Wow. Hey. Eating their breakfast. I suspect my 1940s. Yeah. I'm in. I was hoping this morning to uh, sleep in, but I gotta go take my daughter to her school. She's having a little fundraiser car wash today, so it should be a lot of fun. Right, Anna? You gonna wash a lot of cars today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. All right, guys. Apparently, there is a marathon going on in my neighborhood. Not really sure what marathon this is, but they got this whole row blocked off for this marathon. That's kind of cool. It's like a 24-hour marathon, so I don't know. Somehow I got to get to uh, the interstate. Hope this doesn't block my way because I got to get my daughter to her school in like 12 minutes. This is going to cause my daughter to be late for her little fundraiser. They got all the roads here blocked off. Just so they can run. Just perfect, huh, Anna? Just perfect. Let's stage a half fun at your car wash, okay? Bye, love you. Have fun. Here's my daughter. I'm gonna wash some cars. Today's Saturday, and I think today's gonna to be a eBay listing kind of day. I wanna get all that stuff I got yesterday from that estate sale up as soon as possible because they're all high ticket items. So apparently I still have a little bit of jet lag. Just a little bit. Last night, uh, we got home from date night around 11.30, and then I edited my vlog, so I was done around midnight, and then I couldn't sleep. I was uh, working a little bit on eBay, mostly market research on the stuff that I got to uh, price my items at the right price. I couldn't sleep. I mean, I was tired, but I just I just couldn't get to I couldn't get to bed. So I was up till like two o'clock working on eBay. Uh, and when I went to bed, when I actually laid down, it took me another, I think it took me another 10, 15 minutes to actually fall asleep. I was feeling really, really restless. And then I got up this morning around seven and I still was a little tired and I couldn't go back to bed. Right now I'm feeling a little little groggy, a little tired right now. It's uh, 9.25. So I'm guessing it's gonna be still maybe a day, maybe another day before I can shake off the jet lag. But tonight is the day before I have to go back to work and I'm gonna try to go to bed at a normal hour, maybe 10, 11 o'clock, just so I can get eight hours of sleep. Don't you hate it when you're somewhere and you wanna pay for something and then you realize you forgot your wallet? That just happened. Of course, the one time I'm gonna bring my camera I couldn't get it on film of what happened. Anyways, I went to go pick up my daughter. There's like a marathon going on to, to Mount Charleston. It was like a 24K marathon or whatever. Anyway, so they're rerouting everybody. And what I was gonna do, I was gonna get some gas for my car because I was gonna get gas on the way back after I dropped off my daughter, but I forgot my wallet. So I went home and when I left to pick up my daughter, I got stuck in traffic. Uh, we were rerouted and then so all these cars were like all were going all over around where I live and literally there was like one lane with like 20 cars trying to get through and these were like stop signs they weren't stop lights so needless to say it took me a long time to get through during this time my engine my uh, gas light came on and it literally had like 20 miles left, 20 to 19 miles left to get to a gas station before I was gonna be stuck. Now, I know it seems like a lot, but for those of you guys who don't know, you know, most of those probably fumes. So I was like super paranoid that I wouldn't get to a gas station. Um, I think I, when I was stuck at the, uh, the, the longest, I think I was, um, I would say four miles. But, you know, but I was getting like super hyper, super paranoid, like hyperventilating and I was like honking and screaming because I was like, I gotta get to a gas station. Then I had to go pick up my daughter. So I was gonna be late to pick her up because I had to go all, to, all the way to her school. And I, was, and I had to do all this within like 20 minutes. <sighs> Anyways, 
I wish you would. Uh, I wish I had the camera to show you what the traffic looked like, cause it was just insane. Anyways, I got to a gas station. I got to my daughter, but I was like 15 minutes late. Thank God uh, they were still uh, washing cars and pretty much just uh, closing everything up. So I got through it. I was that was rough. It was uh, pretty pretty rough. And you should have seen me. I wish the thing is. Like I guess I wish I had my camera to just show you my face. It was just, if you if you would see a tomato, that's what my face looked like, an absolute tomato. <laughs> All right guys, I went through a step-by-step -step process for you guys here on my Ronnie Bizzle channel of those that luggage set that I'm gonna list on eBay. So, let's give you these items right over here. The garbage, the garbage bag and this duffel bag, Sands. Sunburst Inventational. This is from the old Sands Casino with the luggage tags over here. Ah, pretty nice. So let's go and get this thing listed. First things first, I'm going to go try to find the uh, material tag in here. I don't, I'll, the first time I looked through, I didn't find it. It feels like vinyl. I'm pretty sure this is uh, vinyl. So I'm trying to see if I can find any, any tags in here. Right now, I'm finding nothing. This is vinyl. I think the interior feels like a canvas. So I was gonna put canvas interior, vinyl interior, it has these nice buttons here. Everything works. It's really super nice, actually. So, yeah, so I'll make sure the offset material is canvas and vinyl. Now, measure the items. We're gonna measure the length, which is from here to there. And then the width from here to here. And then for the bag, we're going to measure it from there to there. And then the height. Probably from like the bottom here to the top with the uh, bag closed. So we'll do that. So now, time to take the pictures. Pictures taken. Ready to go on eBay. So I'm actually doing a quick weigh in of the package and it's gonna come out to like 11 pounds I'm not gonna put this box I gotta get a bigger box for, for this uh, item so looks like it's gonna be like a $50 shipping charge but I gotta get a bigger box all right guys I'm on eBay now to list the, this luggage set so let's go right here and sell this item his listing is done it's gonna upload the pictures I'm gonna put it up for 30 days for a thousand dollars. I'm probably not gonna get a thousand dollars for this, but I just want to see what the market is for it. That's why I only put it for 30 days, just to see what happens. And if I get a pretty decent offer, I will take it. So let me just upload these pictures and get it up to eBay for sale. All right, guys, and there it is. There's the listing. Thousand bucks for this item. I'll put a put a make I'll put a best offer up there. So, now it's about the waiting game. This is going to be a long tail item. Um, I don't think I'm going to sell it today or tomorrow. This is the type of item where it's got to be the right buyer looking for this particular item. And with the money I invested in this, I am willing to wait and see where the market takes me. Alright guys, I am out on my balcony because I'm going to end the vlog here for the day. It's like five five o'clock and I'm about to cook some dinner and spend some time with my daughter and just enjoy the rest of the night before I have to go back to work tomorrow. So anyways, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Thanks for watching.